Today, I'm introducing to you a sneak peek of Stable Diffusion 3. Please note that this is a pre-alpha version and the parameters are not optimized yet. There are some pretty amazing advancements. One of the major advancements concerns text handling. I can now add words, a sentence in my prompt to see it seamlessly integrated into my image. I test with a prompt an old lady who holds a potion for a young man with a shadow of a monster behind her and I want her to speak to the young man. We have a bubble of text where she say, you can trust me, I'm a good witch. So let's see what it gives. SD3 gave me four proposals for the same prompt. We can see that in the first proposal, SD3 did not quite understand my directive since the bubble was placed on the little boy. On the second proposal, we see it's much better. We have our two characters in the foreground with the old lady who holds the filter of love for the young man, the monster in the background, and we have the witch text which has been respected and which is placed in the right place. Third proposal, this time the composition is good. On the other hand, it did not correctly place the text sheet since this time it's the monster who speaks in the background. And finally, the fourth proposal, the composition is well respected, the bubble is well placed, to still globally on four proposals, we still have two that hold up the road wide. And we see that still in terms of composition, he understood well. In terms of my prompt, he still respected where I placed my elements. What's amazing on top of that is that I can also choose the typography style of my text. So I prompt the image of a knight of the battlefield with his troops in the background and who must shoot attack. So I want it to be written in capital and in a Victorian style and without serif. And I want the style to be comic book. So we see that on the first one he respected what I told him. I want him to shoot, I want him to be in the foreground, his troops to be in the background. The typography is well written as I wanted it to be. The second one is not bad either. The same, he respected my prompt, the character in the foreground shoots, the soldier behind and the attack I found a little less well managed. Signed there, it looks like he is put in the, a flag. Third proposal, we see once again that the composition is very good compared to my prompt. On the other hand, at the level of the text, it's a little mixed up the brushes since we have things that do not go like the quote that hangs and then a T is missing. Last proposal, the composition always correct. This time, the text which is integrated well, there are all the letters indeed. Now, maybe a bubble is missing, quite simply. It's rather on the first proposal in the end, which seems to me to be the one that is the most consistent with the prompt and which makes the best. Another notable advancement, respecting the prompt and the ability to provide precise instructions on the placement of elements in my image, above, below, top right, left right, etc. And so I'm going to show you here with an example. I prompt I want a portrait cut in half with half a style with a slightly cheerful expression. And the other half is in another style with a funny expression. And here we see that in the fourth proposals. However, SD3 understood that I wanted to split my image in two. So in the four proposals, I got it. Then in terms of expressions, I ask it for a happy side and a sad side. We see that in the four proposals, I have two that correspond to my prompt. So another example to show you this understanding, these advances of the understanding of my, the prompt. So I wanted an image where I say to it, 
at the bottom of the image, I want a shaman woman. I want her to be sitting against a big tree and I want her to be in a lush forest. And I want at the top of the image, I have the spirit of this shaman flying above her head. And this spirit is a great deer. And I want finally a mystical night atmosphere and a name style. In terms of composition, this is what I got on the four images. So there, once again, we see that SD3 really respected the placement of my elements. SD3 puts my shaman well at the bottom of the image and put his spirit well floating above his head. We're going to say two images that are very faithful to my prompt. The first one he understood less well. And here is the image that I kept, which for me is the most faithful to what I had in my mind. So then I made a series of prompts to show you other examples. Here in my prompt, I want Cerberus in front of the gate of hell. Behind him, I want the door to be open on a national decor of flames, etc. And at the top of my image, I want to see the portrait of Hades' shadow. So that's what I got. Once again, the composition is quite faithful. On the first one, we don't have the head of Hades. SD3 didn't realize this indication. On the second one, we see that there is. The third one is perfectly respected in relation to what I asked him. We have Cerberus in the center of the image, in front of the gate of hell, open, with the spirit and the face of Hades above him. And the fourth one, we feel that he tried to make the face, but something happened, he didn't quite finish. So for me, the fourth one is less good. But still, overall, we see that he keeps the prompt. He respects my instructions. Another example, I asked to make a cute robot that speaks to a little blonde boy. I want him to be sitting on the roof of a car. I want the style to be steampunk. And I want the robot says hello. I wrote hello with a 3 to see how SD3 would manage that. Once again... I was really trying to push him, in quotation marks, to the error, to see how far SD3 will respect what I ask. So already on the fourth proposal, the composition is completely faithful. It's consistent. On the other hand, in there, the text, we see that he had more difficulty understanding my hello. So the only one that is good at the text level in the third proposal, except that he put the bubble on the little boy. But otherwise, on three proposals out of four, he placed the bubble where it is the robot that speaks. I kept this one, which for me respects both the composition and I also like the style of the bubble that he allowed himself to do which is very harmonious, I find, with the rest of the image. Then I ask him for an image of two lovers who are sitting in the front of a sunset. So first plane, they are both sitting. I want them to be on their back. I want my sunset in the background. And I want the girl head to be on the boy's shoulder. And a heart drawing in the clothes in the top right. So the composition is almost perfect. The only thing, the only criticism that I could have is that finally he respected my indication of the girl leaning of her shoulder only on one of the proposals. But still, globally, it corresponds to what I have in my mind. We see that once again, for the composition, SD3 is pretty good, and when we look at the image that it retained, he really respected exactly what I asked him, which is pretty crazy. Then I wanted to have more fun and push our dear friend SD3 even more by asking him to make a chimera. I asked him for a mouse head, 
a dragon body and wolf paws. So we see that in the four proposals, in any case, it tried to make my chimeras. So I have on three proposals a cute little mouse that drag at the foot of my chimera. On the other hand, we see that on the third proposal, he understood rather well since we have the head, I recognize the head of a mouse or a rat in any case, maybe more of a, ha of a rat, especially at the level of the muzzle, the ears. He understood that the dragon body well and the wolf pose. Yes, it's a bit of a mix between dragon pose and wolf balls, but I found that it's still quite consistent with what I asked him. Then I asked for a cut image in two on the horizontal, so to work a kind of reflection with a rune decor at the top and a reflection of this runed decor at the bottom. And I want a photo style. And there, I was quite bluffed by what FD3 gave me. FD3 really respected what I asked in the letter. So there, the four proportions for me are perfect. Maybe the third one, we don't really understand what's going on, but in any case, it really respected this reflection that I asked it. My cut image is strictly in two with a perfect reflection. So I kept this image because I found that it also has a structure that's super interesting. And there we see that SD3 really respected perfectly what I asked him. We are very, very, very excited here at Fictions and we can't wait for the new model to be released. It's shaped it up to be another revolution. If you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to like, to comment and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!